Am I a crazy whippet lady? Yeah, yeah. Breaking news, if you haven't heard, rug tufting is all the rage right now. You can design and make your own cute and cozy rug for the low, low price of $300? And then I would never use the tufting rug again? No thanks, but I do love the idea. And then I saw the Sorry Girls make this cute tiger rug with something called punch needle. And for only $30? I'm skeptical, but I guess we'll see. The tiger really reminded me of my dogs and I thought how cute would it be to have like Snoot or Snilly hanging over my bed. Uh, so not as like a rug, but more of a wall hanging because let's be honest, this rug is gonna be way too nice to actually step on. So for the design, I initially thought maybe I would have the dogs back to back, kind of like lions flanking a Chinese restaurant. And then I thought maybe I would have the dogs heads form like a heart. I didn't really like either of those, so I went back to my initial inspiration of the tiger. And I also remember, I love this Instagram artist. Her name is Sophie McPike, and she makes beautiful greyhound artwork. Just like the way she draws the dogs, make them look so fluid and majestic. So I drew one of Snelly, and I mapped out the yarn colors to match her pattern. So for Snoot, I love this photo where he's all curled up and looks like a bagel. And so I thought that would be a really nice, just simple round rug to start off with. So those are gonna be my two designs. As for the materials, I bought them last week. Oh, let's actually see if they cost less than $30. So the punch needles were from Amazon and they were $9. I paid $3 for this yarn for, and we'll just count snooze for now. And I also had black and white yarn from a previous project. You can probably see it in the back. I know, I hate it when like YouTubers just like have materials, but. And then the monk's cloth, which is the rug backing, I think it was like $12 on Amazon for a really small piece. Uh, so I ended up finding it at Joann's and I used a 40% discount. And so it was only $9 for a ton of fabric. So I'm really proud of that one. For the canvas that we're gonna hang our cloth onto, I just went to Goodwill and found a framed print and I knocked out the glass and the artwork and it was only like $5, so I think it's much cheaper to do this than like to buy an actual canvas. And then the glue was $3. So I think that actually comes out to 18, 8, 26, $29, oh my gosh. Yeah, less than $30. All right, I think we should just stop procrastinating and get started. I attached my cloth with push pins because I didn't want to buy a staple gun. And I've already drawn out a rough guide and we're just gonna start with the black outline. Hmm. Not horrible. Ooh, actually does look horrible on the back. We'll just try again. I struggled a little bit at the beginning Okay, for like three hours I struggled. It just doesn't make sense to me why this works. You punch your yarn through the fabric and then you come out just like a little bit and then you punch through again and then the back ends up being the front of the rug. Not really sure how that is secure, but anyway, I went all the way around the whole outline. Oh, I forgot to show you the tool I'm using. Here I'm switching out to my next color, so I insert my threader through this little hole, and this will help guide my yarn through with this hole. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to get this fat yarn through. It is so fat. <laughs> and now I can get back to stabbing. So I filled in the white sections with this super soft and fluffy yarn, and then started the brown color for the rest of his body. I think the whole rug took me an entire day. It also took years off the health of my wrists and my back. I probably would pay $300 to not put my wrists through the pain, but whatever. While working on this, I listened to a bunch of podcasts, so even though my body was rotting, my brain was not. I listened to The Dropout, which is four hours and about a healthcare startup fraud, and also Making Obama, which was five and a half hours about Obama's political service before running for office. Both of them were excellent recommendations by Michelle. I snipped off all the loose ends from the front. Okay, I am mostly done, but you can kind of see there are like little holes here. So I've got to fix that up first. 
After that, I cut out the rug with an inch of fabric left out. And to finish this raw edge, I'm going to be folding in the fabric and binding it with some black yarn. So I cut some slits around the edge so it doesn't warble, although it kind of did anyway. And hopefully you can kind of see it. I'm just weaving in and out and that hides all the excess white fabric. This probably took me two episodes of 99% Invisible to go all the way around. And ta-da! Siri, play some upbeat music. Guys, the journey this took. Do not trust YouTubers. This was difficult, but I'm kind of addicted. As you can see, I've already started Snellies. Now her design is not just a round circle, so I had to figure out how to get the design onto the fabric. And I've seen tutorials where they use like a projector or they print out the design, but who has a projector and a printer in 2021? So what I did was I mapped out the coordinates on my iPad and then put it onto the fabric. And then I used my iPad as a light box to draw out the lines. Pretty smart. I had to use my brain for that one. And then I realized I forgot to reverse my pattern. Yeah devastating. I ended up changing the design to be Snelly's right side of her body instead of her left side. Another annoying thing is that my frame is actually not long enough, so I'm gonna have to first do her upper half and then her lower half. All right, let's get back to it. It took a little bit to figure out what the best way to tackle this was, but my routine kind of goes like this. I would pick a block of color to work on, and then outline the general shape with like a sharpie onto the fabric and then i would just you know punch out the area like i've been showing you and that obviously takes the longest time then i would flip the whole canvas over make sure it all looks good snip any remaining yarn and then find the next block of color to do until it's all done so that's the first half I tried to be as accurate with her actual coat, but it's kind of hard. Um, so now I'm just taking out the push pin since I mentioned that my canvas isn't actually big enough, so I have to split up into two parts, and I'm just repinning the fabric to work on the bottom half. All right, so another podcast update. During the Snelly rug, I ran out of suggestions. So, but then I discovered the Ethan Klein and Trisha Paytas Frenemies podcast. It is so entertaining. Like, this is your sign to go watch it if, if you've heard of it. Maybe it wouldn't be as entertaining if you, like, don't know who they are. But if you do, in just as a teaser, in the first episode, they talk about Trisha dating Ethan's brother-in-law. Like, if that doesn't entice you, I don't know. But yeah, I binged it like crazy. Sometimes it would like distract me so much that I had to stop working on the rug and like watch the episode. But yeah, I am I watched all 28 episodes that they have out so far. All of them are like an hour or like two hours. Um, yeah, it's really good. Oh, anyways, I'm done with the rug now. Yay, look how good it looks. <laughs> So I've cut out the shape and I'm just going around the whole edge, binding the leftover fabric with some black yarn, just like with snoots. There are some white bits that show through, but I kind of just fill it in with like a black paint pen and that works really well. There are some like weird curves that are, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get around that, but I'm sure I will figure it out and voila. I'm pretty happy with this rug. It's a little bit hard and awkward to hold up. Ooh, I should go film some TikToks with it. Show me something you regret buying and what you turned it into. The last thing I wanted to do is hang them up on the wall. So the internet said I should just apply glue all over the back. I'm just gonna try one section for now. And we're gonna use these Velcro command strips to stick it onto the wall. And it didn't really work. <laughs> the command strip wouldn't stick to the glue. I don't know how other people are doing it, but it didn't work for me. So 
I just decided to not hang it up for now. Maybe I'll figure something out later, but I think it looks pretty good on top of this dresser. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. In general, I think punching out rugs are super fun to make. I'm really glad I tried out this new TikTok trend and now I have two beautiful rugs of my dogs. But yeah, let me know. Did you guys like this Nelly rug more or this new rug more? I'm curious. Okay, thanks. Bye.